So this video is not about 24 hours, 48, a week or two weeks with the Galaxy S10 Plus. We're gonna be talking about the Galaxy S10 Plus in 30 days, letting you know how well this device worked, what we found wrong, what we found right, and how we enjoyed it overall. So let's jump in. So let's have a heart to heart about the Galaxy S10 Plus. Let's, let's break it down. It's a 30 day review. This is not a spec by spec. This is not, hey, I used it for 48 hours or two weeks or whatever. This is me using the device like a regular user as my main day to day, as a device that I, I take with me on the road. So the Galaxy S10 Plus came out 30 days ago. Um, there was a lot of excitement. I was really excited to use this device. And one, one of the first things that I really like about it is form and fit. When you hold it in your hands, or at least when I hold it in my hands, it feels comfortable. Uh, it's a good device to hold. The button placements are nice, at least for me. The power button, you know, some people complain about that, but I like the location there. And it works out really well. The build quality all around is superb. I think Samsung has done a really good job with the way it looks and feels. But I will say though, um, you know, it can scratch really easily if you don't have a screen protector in the front, which I don't have because I want to use that in-display fingerprint sensor that Qualcomm has, ultrasonic, right? Uh, I've done videos on this, you can check that out because it is really, really good. Now, the updates have come in and made it even much better, but I had no issues initially using it. So for me, being able to use wet hands or the kernel using you know his chicken wing finger hands on there to actually unlock this device, to me, is, is really solid. And the fact that, hey, you know what? You can just simply just pull it out of your pocket, not look, and basically unlock your device. And it's really secure. Now, the facial unlock is not secure. We've seen videos out there, so don't use it. Uh, unless, of course, you just want it for the pure convenience and there's nothing to hide or, you know, or it's nothing to be stolen from your device. But that's just a warning for you. Samsung, please fix that. But speaking of the display, we've got a whole punch, right? You think about it, it feels like it might be annoying, but when you start using the display, it is so beautiful, it's sharp, it's vibrant, it catches your attention. You're going, damn, Samsung, how can you make a better display every year? It's HDR 10 plus uh, display. Everything looks sharp, everything looks good. The wallpapers, my wallpapers just pop out with this. I mean, I've got different wallpapers and they look really good. And yes, I'll have the links for you guys down below. But I think the hole punch uh, really works well. And you've seen other people have different wallpapers that mask um, you know, the hole punch really well. And they've done a good job there. The speakers are nice and loud and vibrant. We've got a speaker video as well. Go check that out. And we have all the links for you guys for all those videos, the cards there. But when you talk about what the device brings to the table, you know, as I mentioned all these little different things that I use, you find out that it really goes a long way to making this one of the best rounded devices throughout this year. When I say throughout this year, even though it's the beginning of the year, because by the time we get to December, you realize that, yeah, the S10 Plus really set the mark for 2019. Now, you've got speakers still, uh, stereo speakers. You've got a headphone jack. I use headphones a lot. I'm a, I'm a big headphone guy. You can see it back there. The fact that I can plug it in, I can use something like the, you know, the, the T2s, the Tin Hi-Fi T2s, which are like $50 in earbuds that sound really good and maximize them with a 32-bit DAC and walk on the street and listen to music, says a lot. There are very few phones you can use, do that with. I can still do that with the Galaxy S10 Plus and not just like, you know, shitty audio, but good audio with Dolby Atmos as well. Then you also have the fact that this is powered by the Snapdragon 855. We did our gaming video. You guys asked for PUBG specifically. I did that too. I suck at PUBG and you laughed at me, but it runs well. And it showed the performance of this device and the fact that, look, when I'm browsing, I'm doing stuff on the device, it runs really smooth. You can call it the combination of the software with one UI. You can call it the new processor, RAM, all those things coming together to work really well. But when it comes to the day-to-day -day use of this device, I found it so easy to use in terms of um, battery life, functionality, as well as also just use case. 
because hey look i can start my day around like nine o'clock in the morning which is roughly when i start eight nine and i can go all the way to about seven seven o'clock at night and it gets about 20 percent which means i'm and i'm a heavy user trust me i get so much notifications i get i use i do a lot of my email from my phone and i watch videos here and it works out that well for me throughout the day uh granted it's also got a 41 million 100 milliamp battery so that optimization i think is really good and it really sets the bar i think for a lot of things throughout this year and i think a lot of people are going to see that now you've got a triple camera setup uh this is the uh one of the two devices in the s10 line that's a triple camera setup setup i won't lie i you know i don't use telephoto my buddy marion cell who's done a camera video with me Definitely check it out because he's a professional photographer and he knows more about this than I do. Uh, doesn't use that much either. And I think the telephoto is, I don't know, maybe it should go. I'm thinking that way because wide angle on this thing is fantastic. It looks really good. The, set, the, set, the main camera is also really solid as well. Uh, I wish we were able to easily access all those camera functions in the pro mode. Yes, you can go to wide angle by pinching and zooming in the pro mode, but it's not something that you know initially. You have to, you know, I want to thank the user that actually mentioned that because it's not something that's easily accessible if you think about it that way. But the camera app has been improved. It still needs some more improvements. But that Instagram mode, ooh, talk about bringing in a key feature that sounds silly, but once you start using it, the fact that you can take a photo from the proper camera app, post on your stories. Hopefully we can do that with videos next and then we can do more with that. It's such an easy and simple thing that really takes full advantage of what this camera can do. You've got 4K recording, super steady. That's also another feature that I love using, not just because of me running around or say my buddy Marion skiing down the slope, but the fact that if you're walking down your street and you want to record, and if you've got slightly shaky hands, going to super steady makes a whole lot of sense. It's 1080p, I wish it was 4K. I understand the limitations of that because it's cropping down the image. But for a starter, this is a great thing to have on your smartphone. Just don't use it at night because it just is super grainy. Now, night shots in this camera, good. Needs to be improved. Dedicated night mode needs to come in on this device. Now, when you think about all the other things that, like what do I use daily? Reverse wireless charging is one of them. I travel quite a bit. So being able to take one device, one charger, where I can go ahead and charge my Galaxy Buds, which I use quite often. And I've gotta say, the Galaxy Buds are really nice. Just kinda of like a side note here. Um, audio quality is good. It's good to just have something that fits in your ears and plays really well. But being able to wirelessly charge that, or even my smartwatch, like any of that stuff on my Galaxy S10 Plus, while that's charging, perfect makes a whole lot of sense. And I think that's what this device is. There's a lot of things that come together to make a whole lot of sense. Um, you know, Samsung has all the lifestyle features, water resistance, all that, nah, we get that. It's been there for a while. Reverse wireless charging, yes, that's something that another company, while we brought in last year, they made it faster, they made it easier to access, much faster to use, bringing that together, the camera itself. I'm sitting here, I'm talking, and I'm thinking, what negative things can I say about this device? Because it sounds like I'm heaping so much praise on the Galaxy S10 Plus. And rightfully so, they've done a lot of things to improve it. You may not like One UI, for example. You may not like the look at UI, but it works out really well. The function, the flow is very simple for use case. Um, there are very few things I would complain about with this device. And I'm still thinking of few things to complain about. I think it's just more fine tuning to me. The uh, the low light photography needs to be better. So maybe a dedicated camera mode for that, I think will work out well. But I love a lot of things this device does. I love, you know, the easy conveniences of things like Samsung Pay. It's not new. It still works out the same way on this device here. But it saved me the other day at, at, at Home Depot because the credit card swiper wasn't working well, but Samsung Pay for whatever reason worked. So those are the kind of things that make being uh, an anniversary device like an S10 Plus worthwhile. From reverse wireless charging to the triple camera setup, the great battery life, um, you, know, um, you know, you've got a headphone jack. Yes, that too makes a whole lot of sense. 
So there you have it, guys. Um, I really can't say anything else. I can probably go on rambling about all the things I like about the Galaxy S10 Plus. You know, oh, I've almost forgot gaming. Yeah, you know, with the processor. 855 is a solid processor. Eight gigs of RAM, it runs smooth. Plus, the dedicated vapor cooling makes it really nice and cool while gaming. That's another thing to add. As I said, if you have any questions or any comments about the Galaxy S10 Plus with my 30 days on the device, let me know, I'll try and answer them for you. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, and leave a comment down below. I almost forgot what to say there. Plus, I still have a giveaway running for the Galaxy S10e, so go ahead, use the link down below to enter into the giveaway and win a Galaxy S10e. Till next time, guys, thank you, and always enjoy your entertainment.